Brothers. É isso aí, rapaziada. Estou aqui em Los Angeles, no estúdio Ocean. E aqui, rapaziada, é onde Mike Ness, do Social Distortion, está gravando o seu sétimo álbum para o Social Distortion, né? Why it took so long to go to Brazil and just now? We, you know, it's we realized that you know the United States is important, and but it's only a small part of the world. So now it's time to, you know, get to uh, South America. Bands that I love, you know, like the Ramones, have always just spoke very fondly, you know, of of South America and Brazil, and so yeah, so. So we, we're excited. Let's talk about a little bit about the new album. You wrote all the music, right? Maybe with the guys in the band and everything jamming, and but there's no lyrics yet. And how does that work? I always have the melody when I'm writing the song, but actually we're tracking 15 songs right now, and I have about five of them that the lyrics are written. And I got lucky with those because usually I got to get the music done. I need to isolate myself and just listen to the music and see what does it evoke in me, what does it feel like, what does this song remind me of, and which one of those titles would go with, with it. You sang live with Bruce Springsteen. How that happen? Uh, I went last year to see him play in Orange County, went afterwards backstage and said hi, and, you know, he, and I said I'm going to be back east you know, uh, with the Mike Ness band, uh, you know, if you want to come down. And so he gave me his phone number and that was the weirdest thing because, you know, I'm like getting, I'm in New York, I'm all, ah, I should call him, you know. And I, but, you know, it's so awkward because I'm calling him and it's like, he, I get his voice message, this is Bruce, and it's like, oh man, all right, keep it cool, keep it cool. What do I say, what do I say? Mike, we are here in the studio right now, and uh, would you have the kindness to uh, show a little bit of your guitars over there? This is a 1976 uh, Gibson Les Paul uh, Deluxe. This is my money maker right here. <laughs> it's more like a, a Johnny Thunders type of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 1957 Les Paul Jr. with the TV. This is called a TV finish. The TV finish? Yeah. What do you mean TV this, finish? Well. Before this, they had the darker ones, but Les Paul, when he was on TV, right. wanted it to be to, sh to see because TV was new back then. Oh, let's see. He he, did, he put a light. night light finish on it so it would pop on the screen. Oh, on the screen, mm -hmm. I didn't know that's such a cool yeah. little thing because before it was this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. You couldn't really see it, right? Because the TV was black and white. Yeah. And then he made it white. That's yeah. good move. Yeah. All right. All right, Mike, thank you very much for the interview, man. I'll, I hope you have a great time in Brazil. Bop, bop, ba lop, bop, Brew it Brothers. Uh, okay. <laughs> bop, bop, ba lop, bop, Brothers. Bop, bop, ba bop, Brothers. Come on, kids. <laughs>